this position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push... Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape.
we carry, we'll die! Best we go! Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go! There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. 
I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. We can't... It's okay. I do. Give me the apple. Let's 
must not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is just a robot. Yet. Get out! What the hell was that? Just keep safe and take what is 
Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call.
I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Did Vidic put you in an Animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Hey, Desmond. Didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's... Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. Come now. 
Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed, but it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly, so I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Got some more? Let's have a look then. More keepers! Good on ya! I'd say that's worth another letter. I will be back for the rest. What's he got this time? Let me see, let me see! Not to hang the jib, but tis not enough! You'll need some more!
That's why you promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town. Is us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to stay alone. Ready yourself! Aye, aye! If anyone can hold the line, tis us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to stay alone. Ready yourself! Aye, aye!
Ship lost! Escort's all sunk. We're on our own now, sir. Reinforcements! They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness! You're alone and we're without reinforcements! They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu, récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite
Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? Oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. While there's talk of liberty and equality, we fall back into the old ways. Tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral? He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
board. you, Charles? Gone. <sighs> Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. <sighs> Give me Lee! Impossible. He... <clears throat> Is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. Ah, you act as though you have some right to judge. Uh, to declare me a... Yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your people! Ah, we did not support the Crown! and mine wrong for the world and yet everything I've shown you all I've said and done should clearly demonstrate otherwise we did not harm you we did not support the crown we worked to see this land united and at peace under our rule all would be equal do the Patriots promise the same? They offer freedom, which I've told you time and time again is dangerous. There will never be consensus, son, amongst those you have helped to ascend. They will each differ in their views of what it means to be free. The peace you so desperately seek as though you have some right to judge. Uh, to declare me and mine wrong for the world. Uh, and yet everything I've shown you, all I've... We did not harm your people! Uh, we did... We worked see this land united and at peace under our rule all would be equal to the pink surrender and i will spare you 
brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage, all noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to the story. Only one way to find out. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our circle. He sent me away, that day, at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the severed heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. 
Your merry band of assassins. The human refuse that lives on your land. Your village and its people. All of it. Gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. I could do this all day. In fact... Where is Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry.
They will lead me to Lee. I believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master.
Flourishing is... Ah. <laughs>